Welcome back, sports fans. Softball playoffs going up on a hump day. We have your highlights from several of your Central Georgia contests this afternoon. Let's check them out. We start things off with FPD and Hebron Christian. Lady Vikings lead 1-0, bottom of 6. FPD on 2-3, and three. and Abby Sorrells hits a pop-up that drops in shallow right. That brings in a couple of scores in Allison Hammock and Olivia Parker to extend the lead. Two batters later in the same inning, Carden Weaver with the runners on the corners. She slaps one through the infield and two more runs come in and the Vikings lead 6-0 after the frame. The ace, of course, Carson Oaks doing work in the circle for the home team. The senior South Carolina commit had 22 strikeouts in back-to-back -back games. Oaks and the Vikings move on with the sweep. 6-3 and 7-1 are your finals. Across town, Tattnall and Heritage Christian. Lady Trojans on top 2-1. McKenna Epps gets out of the jam, forcing the ground out at first to Julia Bridges. That ends the inning, stranding a runner aboard. Heritage Christian, they would take over the lead right here on a fielder's choice. That plate's one, and the score would be 3-2 visitors after the frame. Now time for some blue and gold to turn things around. Here comes Tattnall with a runner on. She gone. It's a no-doubter. A two-run blast over the blue monster from Courtney Ball. Lady Trojans regain the lead, and they go on to win game one, eight to six. Game two, they win as well, 11 to three. It's a sweep for head coach Joey Hiller and the Lady Trojans. Houston County on the road with Effingham. The Bears take the lead with Kenley Sullivan, who lead, sends one to left for a two-run double. Two-nothing, bear down. Lady Bears with an offensive explosion. A couple of innings later, Lauren Ross going to stroke the RBI single to center. That extends the lead, and seconds later, mama, there goes that woman again, Sullivan, once again for the Bears. She's going to drive in two more. Houston County takes game one, 13 to six, thanks to Riley Lamb in the circle, and complete the sweep with an Olivia Brown 7-3 victory in game two. We'll have all those scores for you later on tonight on 13WMAZ.com.